One of our goals at Biofab USA is to be able to get these high impact products to market as quickly as possible. Part of how we do this is through our process development work and through our deep tissue characterization center. The goal of the process development group is to optimize our cell, tissue, and organ developers' processes and products so that they can achieve scalable, consistent, and cost-effective manufacturing. The goal of the process development team is to take a process, look at it in depth, figure out where it needs to be changed for manufacturing, and then actually implement those changes. And so a lot of that is similar to traditional manufacturing where you want to be optimizing the amount of output for a certain input, or you want to be minimizing cost or you know, minimizing expenditure of resources. Um, but you also have to consider here the kind of biological aspect of all of that. So how will cells respond to these certain you know, process changes? Because cells and tissues are very much alive. So you know, it's kind of a balance of you know, prioritizing these manufacturing concerns while also considering the underlying biology. So scientists have already made a lot of huge advancements in cell, tissue, and organ engineering, but they don't often consider manufacturing when they're developing their process. So there's a number of things that make the process development in our tissue foundry approach unique. One of the most important things is that we think about the commercial manufacturing process that's going to be required as early as possible. It's likely that the commercial process and the early clinical manufacturing process look quite different. So we want to start thinking with a quality by design approach to manufacturing and process development as early as possible. Process development really combines all of the elements of what we're trying to bring together at Army Biofab USA. Process development work begins with the tech transfer of the manual process to gain a deeper understanding of it. We conduct a detailed risk assessment and a gaps analysis to prioritize process simplification and improvements. Process development studies are conducted alongside any process changes or equipment development necessary to achieve the scalable, modular, automated, and closed version of the manufacturing process. Our vision is to enable new biomedical products by making them easier to manufacture. We can achieve this with high density cell culture using cutting edge bioprocessing and analytical technology to make the manufacturing of cells scalable, consistent, and cost effective. So some of the process optimization that we've been working on is to integrate inline sensing into these processes to have non-destructive, non-invasive real-time metrics. And some of these examples of metrics that we've collected are real-time confluence and looking at different metabolites in our media to determine optimal media exchange rates. An important feature of our tissue foundry is using non-destructive technologies to quality control our bioprocesses. Our goal is to fully integrate this technology into our process to enable real-time collection of information. With these inline sensors, we're able to fully understand these processes and able to have consistency between runs, which will help when we're scaling up these runs and going into clinical manufacturing. We make the process more cost-effective and efficient by removing expensive media components and replacing them with easy-to-manufacture small molecules that do the same job in culture. We can also optimize the way we add those nutrients to maximize what the cells get out of the nutrients we do add. A lot of times you hear from the industry that these new therapeutics or cell therapies just aren't making it into patients. And seeing that Biofab are really focusing on manufacturing and regulatory standards and knowing that these products are likely going to end up into a patient was really exciting for me and made me want to come join this team. I think more specifically in terms of impacting people's lives, the products that are produced by Biofab USA have the huge potential to just increase people's lives. There are so many possible clinical needs that can be met by such a wide array of cell and tissue technologies that are out there already, and I think bringing those to market may change the way we look at disease and medical treatment in the United States.